So we're getting a fairly even flow into every plate space here, into every cell. And you can pretty much see that around your hole, by the time you put some of this or whatever you choose to put around to stop the flux leakage, by just doing each independent plate, you've got even less space between the cells to try and fit the, the water flow in. So it's really difficult using these kind of nozzles to get a, an equal spacing with the water. This type, on the other hand, as we can see here, gives us absolutely equal, equal sort of amounts of water going in between each plate. It's a much easier method. And the added bonus is, we're stopping the flux leakage at the same time. Okay, so when the water was going up there in the in the block, we've seen a wave in the centre where it's it's sort of raised. That's what's going to clear your heat affected zone. And it's dependent on this cut guys. So it depends on the angle of the cut going up. And that's what's going to clear your heat affected zone, eh? So you're going to have that wave rising up through the heat affected zone but it's also going to be curling like this which will also help clear it so the whole sort of objective is to clear that area and like I said the added bonus is basically you're also stopping the flux leakage so we're getting a good flow right through fairly equally dispersed between all the plates you can see the lines going up and down See the lines, the shadow of the lines going up and down through the plate, see? Right, that's the the gaskets that are cut like this with the, the, the space between them just enough to allow the flow to go through I've got slightly larger holes here right enough um, that doesn't surprise me that's that one and that one they both worked well <coughs> So I'll put that to one side and this one also worked quite well but that's quite a large gap in that so I'm not really that keen on it. 
it would possibly take away from the others. What I'm looking for is a pretty universal type cut. As you can see here I've got quite a number of different shapes going on. <coughs> and when I blow into them and through them, what we find is that the condensation of my breath marks these so you can actually see where the, the flow goes. So we'll be doing that again in a minute when we've given it time to dry. I think what we're looking at here is overall we're kind of looking at these ones. This kind of shape here. Yeah, I think a smaller diameter hole would be better though because it will give me more room at the back to silicone the, the side of the plate, the, the actual hole, the bore on the stainless steel and I can get a good silicone seal on that and that's what stops the flux leakage with the compression for the gasketing that gives me the, the flow rate and the, the flow direction and it also stops any undermining of the water going in to undermine the, the silicone